The potential is there in some areas for uh, temperatures to hit 70. I know Pete, where is he? Uh, just finished a blog on WPRI.com talking about how unusual for tomorrow, you know, hitting 70. And the last time that happened back on uh, March, tomorrow's what, the 10th? Help me. <laughs> March 9th. 9th. All right. <laughs> know the day of the week. All right. Take a look at live pictures near against the town beach. Already thinking about the beach. I mean, tomorrow is a, is a cooler day near the shoreline just for the simple fact that this water is only 40, 41 degrees. So once the sea breeze kicks in, the coastline tomorrow will be beautiful and nice to take a walk out on Narragansett Town Beach, but not as warm as inland locations away from the sea breeze. Downtown Providence, a mix of clouds and some sunshine, 46 on a south southeast breeze at 15. That wind direction is actually coming right up the bay, so it's knocked the temperature down a little bit. Humidity coming in at 63%. Mid 40s in most locations right now. Taunton checking in at 50 and New Bedford at 46. So just some patchy clouds streaming through right now. Outbreak of severe weather across the southern plains making national news. This precipitation not a factor in our forecast, but these this wealth of warm air across the eastern half of the country right now. That is our weather maker for the next couple of days. So we're slightly cool right now, but you see temperatures that are well into the 70s across the Ohio River Valley and some of that mild air headed our way. In fact, we'll take it into the future starting off at 6 o'clock this evening. We'll take you right through tomorrow uh, afternoon around 2, 3 o'clock and you see the numbers really ticking up big time here 70 71 degrees that would be a record breaker but as we mentioned we talked about this last night not not all locations will get into the lower 70s and how you really have to be careful forecasting weather this warm when you're surrounded by water that is still very cool so i'm going to show you a couple of pieces of information on this uh, starting off to, uh, to, uh, tonight at seven o'clock we'll show you the temperature and the wind direction because the direction of the wind has a huge factor as far as whether it's mild or it's cool so overnight tonight we're staying above freezing here we are six o'clock tomorrow morning in the mid to upper 40s and then note where your warmest temperatures are tomorrow afternoon upper 60s to low 70s you see the wind trajectory it's coming in off the water a little bit so you know places like west Actually, uh, Newport uh, slightly cooler in the mid to upper 50 still very nice, but doesn't take much of a wind component off the water to uh, keep the temperatures down just a little bit, but overall not too bad. Take a look at future cast and we'll get in real close here uh, for this evening and overnight. It's fairly comfortable. It's not as cold. Maybe save a few extra dollars on heating the house tonight as temperatures will stay above freezing. You see looking at partly cloudy conditions and temperatures will bottom out at around 40, so we'll stay well above the uh, freezing mark. And then tomorrow morning looking good sunshine, rapid warm up. We're not talking about uh, a cold start uh, readings that are well into uh, the mid 50s rising rapidly during the morning and temperatures again. This is an inland location. Of course, we're looking at Providence now upper 60s to low 70s. The record for tomorrow is 66 degrees and that was set back in uh, 2002. Still mild on Thursday, though some scattered showers 68 cooler on Friday. It's looking OK for the weekend that time of year where we lose the hour of sleep. But why not? We'll get a, the sun setting later on Sunday at 651. So before bed uh, late Saturday night, you want to set that clock ahead one hour. So, uh, you know, Thursday's not a washout, but there's the chance of a shower. It's a warm day, a little cooler on Friday. Weekend's not bad. If we get rain on Sunday, I'm thinking Sunday night into Monday. Temps on Monday, a lot cooler. All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next on Eyewitness News Live at 5, Scooby and Shaggy on the run from the cops. Not quite. California police pursue a speeding